Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And today's video is going to be on welding shapes. I'm trying to stay a little more focused and uh, just one topic at a time because, you know, I've covered so many topics in different videos, too many in one video where people just uh, don't watch the whole video. So hopefully you'll watch this whole video. And this is specifically on creating a dream catcher or a project uh, in Lightburn using the weld function tools and or the I should say the boolean operations <laughs> so um, we're going to make it quick today we're going to jump into the shop next door and I'm going to show you how I made some dream catchers all right so let's get started this is uh, the file that I made in fact I made a few of these as you can see over here this is a two-piece one this is a one piece with uh, text going around the outside but um, I've had a lot of people, you know, asking about this, and so let's do it. Uh, let's make something completely new, and uh, we'll leave this one on here as sort of like a reference. So we're going to start off on the left side here with a primitive ellipse, and we're just going to draw this out, something like that, and we'll select that, and then what we'll do is come over to the offset tool over here, We'll do an offset on this, and that looks pretty good, just the way it is. So I'm going to say OK, and I'm just going to select both of these and group them. This is the beginnings of our file here, and you can make any adjustments that you want to it uh, to get an idea. So the next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to create a circular array of these. And let's scale this down just a little bit like that. Let's grab the primitive tool again. This time we get hold shift and we'll drag that out. And this is what we're going to array this to. So first let's get them lined up by coming up here and uh, getting them in the right position. And then we'll take and bring this one up to here like that. And we're going to uh, make an array. We're going to want this one that's selected here in an array to this line over here. So order of selection is very important here. I want to make an array of this one on this line. Okay. So let's come down here to the bottom left and do a circular array like that. And that actually looks pretty good just the way it is. I think I'm going to use that because if you look in here, it'll leave us some pieces when we start welding this together to give it a little more effect. All of this little triangles here, uh, if I change the, the size, you'll see that they'll change sizes and disappear. So I want them to be small like that. So I'm going to say OK. And there is our array of these pieces. Now the next thing that I do is I just start welding these together. And I did want to uh, talk about something on the array tool that I completely missed. Um, I don't want to group the results here, okay? So we're going to cancel that because what I'm going to start doing is dragging over these. I want to weld this one, hold shift to this one, and then just hit the weld tool right there. And then the next thing I want to do, order of selection matters, I want to weld this to this, and I'll hit weld again. And there you can see we're starting to get uh, some of our pieces that are going to drop out. See these two pieces down here? So it's important with the order of selection. So uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to weld this to this. And I'll hit weld. Then I want to weld this one to this one. Weld. And the only thing that I'm doing is selecting... Uh, the order of selection here. Uh, this is first and this other shape is second. So if I hold shift and drag from right to left and just run over it, they're both selected. So we're going to do that. And what I'm looking for are these little diamonds in here. And you see now that we've got all these little diamonds in here. So that's pretty much what I did over here. As you can see, these I actually created myself and did another array. So um, 
This makes a better array over here. This one looks hand done and this one looks machine done, but that's okay. So now we've got everything that we want and everything is welded together and we're ready now to uh, make the outside part of it. Let me get this one out of the way a little bit. So now to make the outside, I'm just going to select the outer one, hold control, scale it up like that. And then I'm going to offset this one. And um, that looks pretty good. Five or six millimeters is good. So we'll say OK to that. And I think I need to shrink this down because I want to cut that out as well. So let's hold control and shrink this down until it's just inside the line right there, as you can see. So it's just inside on everything. Now I can select this one and select this one. And then I'm going to use my Boolean operator for this. So I'll press Control and the letter B. We'll bring that up. And we will see what we want here. Subtract B from A and say OK. And we're almost finished with this already. And this just takes a short period of time. So now we can uh, group all of this like that. Grab another primitive, hold shift, draw out a little circle. Snap this one right into the middle right there. Hold control, shrink it down to size. Something like that. And there is our cutout for what I have up here. And there you see we have our basic dream catcher. Another thing we can do too for a little more a little better detail is ungroup this again and select just this one. I'm going to ungroup one more time. Select just this, this one right here. Hit Control and the letter D to duplicate it. Hold Control now and shrink it down in size. And now we have, this is another piece that is uh, cut out of the wood. And finally, I would put maybe one more circle in here. Bring it to the middle and uh, maybe stretch it out a little bit like that. And we've got, and that'll drop out. So now we've got a perfect uh, dream catcher. And you can use any shape that you want here. So you don't necessarily have to use this shape. You can hand draw a shape if you wanted to, just by using the pencil tool, clicking, 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 and closing. So there's a completely different shape that we can use. And then we can uh, mirror this like that and use that shape to go around or we can actually even add this to our design so now you see we've got those triangles down there okay so uh, we can delete this and we can zoom in here and grab one of these triangles or you can grab all of them by dragging from left to right and do control on the letter D bring this back over and uh, just delete these. So now we have, we'll group it. We have another set of these that we can put back in place like that. And uh, let's get it perfectly in place. So there we go. And then we'll shrink this one down and we can put these right here. Just a little bit smaller, I think and maybe drag this down a little bit drag this over a little bit get this all lined up so um, that looks pretty good right there so there is your um, basic instructions on this so you have to uh, consider how this is going to cut and right now um, these two I would probably put on the black layer instead like that and maybe I would set this to fill so that that doesn't drop out. And now we have just the center over here that's going to drop out and all of these are going to cut out around here. And there, you know, you can do so many things with this tool and it's very easy to use. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial about how to duplicate what I did on that dream catcher. Down in the bayou where the gators roam lived a hobby guy by the name of Rich alone 
He had a laser engraver like no one else could boast. Birded patterns on wood from the southern coast. Rich was a Louisiana, my man, with a Cajun soul.